Hello, hello, this is Heather with Two Blooms Lightroom Preset. Today I'm going to show you how to make eyes stand out and pop using Lightroom. So here is the image I'm going to be working with today. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that making your eyes pop um, is really, most importantly, it's done in camera. You, you have to have good lighting and good catch lights in the eyes. As you can see, he's got really good catch lights. You can actually see my reflection. Um, so that's really crucial to your image, to your final, your edit. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and just um, choose a quick preset to work with. Oops. Okay. Make sure I click preset. I'm going to do a little bit of sharpening. Okay. So I want to come down here first and create a snapshot just to show you um, we can come back to the work and see what we've done on the eyes afterwards. So I'm going to name this a film edit. Okay. So after I'm done editing, what I do is come over here to this adjustment brush over on the right hand panel and you come over here to these little arrows and you click them. With Lightroom, it comes with all of these built-in brushes. Um, I also have my own two blooms brushes down here. I'll just go ahead and choose this sharpness brush. And this is the default brush. You can change the size over here, bigger, smaller. Um, the amount is how much it's going to sharpen versus how this is more sharpening and less sharpening. So I like to leave it right about here to start off with. If you have a scroller on your mouse, you can change the brush size with your scroller. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to change it right about there, and I'm just going to go over the eyes. And I usually go over like little bits of hair, too, that are really in focus, just to make a pop. Maybe the lips, but mostly the eyes. And you can just kind of see that makes it more sharp and less sharp. So I'm going to leave it right about there. And then after I'm done sharpening, you want to come over here and click New, because this will give you a new brush to work with. So click New, and then come over here to the arrows again. Um, I'm going to choose the Dodge brush. This is the standard Lightroom Dodge brush. And I'm going to make my brush just a little bit smaller so I can go over the color of his eyes. And I'm just going to do that really quickly. And that just lightened up his eyes a little bit. You can come over here and play with it. I don't like to go too crazy with the dodging. So I don't want it to look over-processed. So I think that looks pretty good right there. And when I'm finished with my brushes, um, if I have nothing else to do, I'll come over here and click Done. Now I can create a new snapshot. And I'll just name it Eyes. So now I have my two snapshots. I can come over here and look at my edit before. This is just with the film preset, and this is after my eye brush work. So you can tell the difference. It's not too noticeable, not too crazy, but it just really made the eye stand out even more and gave it a more polished look. So there you have it. I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure you check out my website at www.tubelooms.com. Thanks for stopping by.